In today's fun and focus, we are going to look at the Nico AM Arc Disruptive Innovation Fund. Where is it investing in? What has the returns been like? What's the risk like? And who is it for? All these covered in this video. Before we begin, here's a reminder that this is not a recommendation to buy the fund. Every fund I cover in this series have different objectives and risk levels. So make sure the fund suits you before you invest in it. Okay, so let's talk about disruptive technology. It means companies, products or services that change the way that things are done. So 5G is not disruptive technology because it is a continuation of 4G. For example, Tesla is a car company but it operates very different from other car companies. Or Zoom, which is changing the way we are communicating. So we do see these two companies in the top 10 holdings of this fund. One thing to note is, with strict regulations, this fund is not allowed to invest in cryptocurrency. But we see that it invests in Coinbase, which is a trading platform for cryptocurrencies. So the message is the fund sees cryptocurrencies as the future and is trying its best to invest in it with the restrictions that it has. In the fund fact sheet, we also see how the fund allocates its investments. A huge emphasis is on technology, followed by healthcare and communications. These are the hot areas to be investing in right now, which is why you see the huge returns since last year. Recently, it has seen a dip, so this fund is not for the faint-hearted. Then who is it for? This fund is more for people who are okay with fluctuations in the market. The high risk, high return people. Which means you are okay with your portfolio dropping more than 10%. Because if you invest in this fund, it will happen. But in exchange, the potential returns will be higher as well. Am I optimistic about this fund? Personally, yes. But that doesn't mean you should invest in this fund as well. Like what I said earlier, everyone has their own preferences for investments. So if you are a high risk, high reward person, then you can consider having this fund in your portfolio. But if you are someone who prefers stability, or if you are investing for a short time horizon, then this fund might not be suitable for you. For example, if you are saving $500 a month for a house which is coming in 3 years, then you might not want to invest in this. Because when you need the money, the fund might be going through a dip in price. And that's not what you want. So if you have a long-term horizon, like saving for your retirement in 20 to 30 years time, and if you are okay with the risk, because after all, this is a high risk, high reward fund, then this is the name of the fund. I'll see you in the next episode of Fun in Focus.